Scientists warn of impending 8.5 magnitude earthquake in the Himalayas. This is on ND Times TV. Well, the Himalayas is in a subduction zone. It has to do with the Indian plate smashing into the Asian plate. The researchers followed the local geology and structural map published by Geological Survey of India. Growing warnings by scientists of an impending high magnitude earthquake in the Himalayas have got farther credence from yet another study by Indian researchers this time. A new study led by seismologist C.P. Rajadran of the Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research in Bengaluru says an enormous stacked, stacking up of strain in the region portends at least one earthquake of a magnitude 8.5 or higher in one of the overlapping segments of the central Himalayas any time in the future. This article was written uh, November 30th, 2018. So as you can see, it's pretty recent. Now, according to the study published in Geological Journal, the researchers critically evaluated existing databases along the data from two newly explored locales. Mohana Kola in far western Nepal and Korgalia, which falls into the Indian border to determine the timing of the last faulting event in the frontal thrust of the central Himalayas. The researchers followed the local geology and structural map published by the Geological Survey of India, besides using Google Earth and imagery from Indian Space Agency ISRO's Cartosat 1 satellite. And from what I see today, just so that I don't forget, it has to do with the. Um, so we had to do. It has to do with the uh, earthquake USGS government monitoring operations, the helioplots. And I see that we have, we had a big earthquake. Well, bigger, moderate earthquake in China, and uh, uh, Honduras as well. Anyway, but also in Tibet, in the Himalayas. Um, Hunan, Hunan province in China and again in Tibet. So that area is Hubei province in China. So China is rocking and Tibet is rocking as well. And um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the link to the uh, Helioplot so that you can see Oregon is um, also rocking. Also Hawaii is rocking continually and uh, the Canary Islands where we have the um, um, another uh, active volcano there, Canary underwater volcano is um, El Hierro is very active and Kazakhstan had an earthquake and Midway Island is rocking and Hawaii as we said is rocking so um, Antarctica is continually rocking at Scott base but uh, you'll you'll have a look at that as if, if you um, if you want to now going back to this article concerning the Himalaya subduction zone the analysis the researchers say compels us to conclude that a great earthquake of magnitude eight and a half or more that occurred between 1315 and 1440 had unzipped a stretch of about 600 kilometers, the length of central seismic gap from Batpur to beyond Mohana Kola in the central Himalayas in an average slip or displacement of 15 meters. The present day underlines the fact, the study underlines the fact that this massive earthquake, the frontal thrust in the central Himalayas, covers parts of India and eastern Nepal, has remained seismically quiet for the past 600 to 700 years, that implies enormous buildup of strain in the region. An earthquake magnitude of eight and a half or more is overdue in this part of the Himalayas given the long elapsed time. Considering this potentially high seismic risk, this will be particularly catastrophic for a region marked by an ever-growing population and unhindered expansion of the buildup environment to be contrasted with poor preparedness to meet this contingency, Mr. Rajendran told his correspondent. So, it's uh, the earthquake magnitude 8.5 or more is overdue in this part of the Himalayas. 
because of the long time lapse that nothing has occurred. Roger Billman, a U.S. geophysicist at the University of Colorado, who, whose years of work laid the basis for this current knowledge about earthquakes in the Himalayas region, fully supports the Indian researchers' findings. They are undeniably correct in concluding that should an earthquake occur now, its magnitude could be eight and a half or more, Mr. Bildman said. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.